and has also been mentioned in these committee stages. Um, I call the Honourable Ruth Dyson. I move that the question be now put. Um, I call David Seymour. Mr Chair, thank you. I find it necessary to take another short call because I, I put a question um, to the Minister which you know would say it myself, I guess, but I feel is concise and clear and of interest to a large group of New Zealanders uh, known as taxpayers. Um, and I have to say I feel obligated to uh, raise this because uh, in the Epsom electorate there's a particularly acute concentration of these taxpayers and they feel taxes more acutely than most constituencies and I think they'd be justified in having an answer from the minister for whom they pay for as taxpayers as to whether or not they would be able to get support from the Minister and his Government and Tracy Martin and the Green Party, they would like to know, could they get support for indexation of their tax thresholds to inflation? And the reason they'd like to know, and I'll just spell it out again for the Minister because he, he didn't see fit to answer the question. Uh, when it was put to him, very fairly and reasonably and quite eloquently, I thought. Um, is it fair to expect that if he is going to index the best start payments to inflation, if it's true that the benefits people get funded by taxpayers should never be eroded by inflation and this government will protect them against inflation, then will those taxpayers also be protected against being pushed further and further into higher tax brackets. And I'll also just repeat for the Minister, since he didn't answer last time, that it may be of greater interest from him than he realises, because it is not just those people uh, in Epsom who have a very acute interest in being taxpayers. Actually, it is people up and down the country, and indeed, somebody working full-time on the minimum wage will be getting very close by the end of this government's term if it believes that it's really going to put the minimum wage as high as it would like to paying 30 cents on the dollar. And if the government gets to the end of this term and it finds that people on the minimum wage if they haven't been priced out of the labour market by the stupid increases proposed by the government, that is, are paying 30 cents in the dollar, so the marginal tax bill goes from 17 and a half up to 30 overnight, then it's not just going to be a few people uh, in Epsom that are worried about this tax thing. It's going to be a lot of people, a lot of people that support this government. So on behalf of those people, the constituents I represent, and that long-suffering and much-ignored group in this debate, the taxpayer, I'd like to ask the Minister for a response this time. If he understands the concept of indexation, is he able to index the tax thresholds, the point at which people go up another tax rate to inflation, the way that he's indexed the benefits? That's all we want to know. Uh, is there anyone in the House at this point that doesn't fully understand the question. I'm sure the people watching at home get it. If we can index benefits to inflation, can we index tax thresholds? Is there anyone that feels that's not clear at this point, the question? No, everyone gets it. Does everyone understand the question? Yes? Does anyone? Let me put it another way. Does anybody not understand the question? Okay. Okay. So it seems everybody understands the question. Will the minister support my amendment? To, increase, to index tax thresholds to inflation? Does he value taxpayers who pay his salary as much as he, as he values the people that he's giving money to? Okay, I, I don't think I can make the question any clearer. If, if, there's any way I can make, if there's any way I can make the question clearer, then, you know, someone give me a call. But I can't make it any clearer. 
So now, Grant Robertson, you have to answer the question. You understand what the question is? So now, can you get up and tell the taxpayers, will you index their tax thresholds to inflation the way you protected everyone else's benefits? Um, I call the Honourable Ian Lees Galloway. I move that the question be now put. Um, members, before I take that, I won't accept the closure motion uh, at this point, but I will uh, say to members uh, that I've sat here uh, in the, from 9 o'clock till 10 and I've been watching the debate throughout. Uh, there has been um, uh, certain points within the bill that have been uh, uh, debated extensively and simply asking a question in a new way, giving a different example, does not make it a new question. So if there are any new arguments uh, to be had, now is the time to have them. Our point of order, uh, Jamie Lee Ross. That it is for your judgment to determine when we take closure. However, I do want to make the point very strongly on behalf of this side of the House that there are amendments that have been placed on the table somewhat recently that have not been debated, and there are members here that wish to do yeah, so. I don't need any additional help, and that would come under the category of bringing out new arguments uh, and not going back to uh, re-asking questions that have already been asked in a different way. Now is the time to bring that out. Uh, point of order, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Chair, I appreciate uh, that guidance. Uh, I think one of the reasons, though, that members are seeking to re-raise or, if you like, elucidate further on, uh, on uh, previous arguments is because uh, these are quite substantive uh, amendments proposed to the bill, and they're not getting any response uh, from uh, the minister or any member of the uh, government at all. Uh, and so uh, members feel the need to continue to raise uh, those points again and expand further in the hope that uh, they can actually be seriously addressed. Uh, and you know, there's, some, there's some very significant proposals, I think some very positive proposals that have been raised. Uh, so perhaps, Mr Chair, uh, to help with the process, and I appreciate uh, that you uh, want, to, want to make sure that the debate brings up new material, then perhaps we could address some of the material that's already in front of us. Yes. Uh, uh, no, I don't need any more assistance. Thank you. Uh, I thank the member for um, his uh, contribution. Uh, as I said before, and I accept what the, the member is saying, but now is the time to bring those arguments out. Kia ora. I call Simon O'Connor. Very pleased to, through...